Hey guys, thank you for joining me for today's five ways to wear video. I'm really excited about this one. I am obsessed with Rosie Huntington Whiteley's style. I also love a little bit of Zara and if you have not heard about this Zara halter neck bodysuit I'm wearing right now, where have you been hiding? It basically went viral last year when Rosie Huntington Whiteley styled it up a few different ways. So because I adore her and I also love this bodysuit as well, I thought that I would share five ways you can wear the Zara Halter bodysuit like Rosie Huntington Whiteley. So let's get straight into it. I've picked five of my favourite Rosie Huntington Whiteley outfits styling this bad boy and I'm going to recreate them from items already in my wardrobe and give you a little bit of inspiration about how you can wear a bodysuit this summer. So let's get to it. I think I'm starting with my favourite first. So here Rosie has on the white Zara bodysuit. It comes in loads of other colours. I will leave it linked below with everything else in this haul that I can find. She has styled it with a tight fitting black pencil skirt, some white sandals and a Bottega handbag. Now unfortunately I don't have a Bottega handbag but I do have a very good dupe which is from I saw it first but there's so many amazing affordable dupes of this bag on the high street so I'll have a little search around I will leave them linked in the description box below and as we're talking about her accessories she likes to keep her accessories quite simple like I do as you guys might know and I love a little bit of gold jewelry some gold hoops a gold a little snake chain and then something she does with her outfits that I don't tend to do too much because I feel like a little bit silly, but I think you look so chic as a pair of black sunglasses. I have a black Celine acetate pair here, but any acetate pair of sunglasses will do as you'll see throughout this video. So I will leave some really good high street ones linked. Uh, places like Amber's Stories do really good ones, but I'm sure ASOS do, or even Primark. Just get yourself some black acetate sunglasses. I think they're really chic, really classic, and I might start wearing Sunny's more in my outfit picks. I don't own a black knee length tight fitting skirt but I do have a midaxi rib knit slim fit skirt so I have worn this instead and I actually quite like the longer length also shows that you don't have to have the exact same item to recreate a look you can kind of get an inspiration and a vibe and put that together with items that you already own my white sandals are from I saw it first and then I have on the nude bodysuit because I do not have the white bodysuit at first I was worried you might be able to see nipple through it you actually can't unless you know you can see a little bit of a nip on but you can't actually see <laughs> the color of your nipple so I need to get the white one I need to get some more colors it's about 10 pound this bodysuit if you didn't already know so go and get it thong bottom everything you want from a bodysuit wash is okay got a few little bobbles on it but that's probably because I am not the best at washing my clothes but through and through love this bodysuit hence why we have a video on it today ramble through that first look I'll get a little bit more snappy with the rest. Now, my second favorite look was this suit pairing, and it's a mismatched suit. So again, you don't have to have a matching suit bottoms and a blazer, we can mix and match here. Rosie's wearing gray trousers with a brown belt with a beige blazer, and then we have the white bodysuit again, and she's got some Bottega shoes on. I would never really think to pair these colours together, so it's something a little bit new for me. Again, I've had to wear this look with the nude bodysuit because I do not own the white one yet. I'm going and buying it straight after filming this video, uh, but I'm not sure whether those three colours work together, but they kind of do. So also getting inspiration elsewhere um, from other outfits, whether it's your favorite celebrity, your favorite blogger, or scroll through Pinterest, it gives you a chance to experiment maybe with looks that you wouldn't normally wear. Now I don't have a thin brown belt, so here I've just swapped it out for a chain belt. So I've just taken the inspiration of having a thin belt and I've worked with what I already own in my wardrobe. My trousers are from Outfit Book and my blazer is a new addition from Monkey. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. I will uh, leave that video linked in case you missed the monkey haul and then my Bottega mules which have the square toe so obviously they don't have to be a designer they can just be a square toe pair of shoes to emulate the look and there's loads on the high street there's some really good ones in Topshop actually so again I will leave alternative affordable options linked down in the description box below for you guys Another chic, really easy to throw on outfit. I love the way that Rosie has paired the Zara bodysuit with a simple throw on skirt, your favorite pair of slides, pop on some glasses, slick back your hair, and you're pretty chic and good to go. Now I don't have a long kind of black skirt, so I've gone for a silk 
midi skirt instead. I'm sure quite a lot of you might already own one of these in your wardrobe because they were huge last year and they're a great wardrobe staple. So I've just gone for a khaki colour and then I've kept my shoes black to complement the black bodysuit rather than going for brown sandals like Rosie has here. I don't like putting too many colours together and I think this works really well and it also recreates the outfit again with my faux Bottega clutch, my black acetate glasses and then my shoes are my Birkenstock which are so comfortable but any chunky sliders would do. I have actually done a video on Birkenstock though so if you want some more styling ideas for Birkenstock sandals for summers I'll leave that linked on the screen somewhere and also down in the description box below should you want to watch more from me and if you do want to watch more from me and you're enjoying this video so far it would mean so much to me if you could just give this video a thumbs up go and click subscribe about 80% of you who are watching my videos are not subscribed it will really help me out and let me know anything you want to see from me as well because I'm trying to improve my videos I don't know if you notice a new kind of video setup today. So hopefully this is a little bit better quality for you, but you know, any feedback on settings, audio, things like that would be really, really, really helpful. Now back into the video. My fourth Rosie Huntington Whiteley outfit styling the Zara Holtup bodysuit is something a little bit more dressy, but in a classy vibe. And for me, it is a fun way to have a play around with color. I don't tend to wear bright colors too much. You guys probably know this, but if I do, it is gonna be with all black. And I recently bought a bright yellow blazer from And Other Stories. You might have seen it in my haul, actually. And I've got coming to my Instagram, 10 ways to style that, all with black outfits, because I love the pop. So to recreate this look, I've gone for my purple Lovies blazer. Not sure if I've actually shared this on YouTube with you guys yet. Might be sold out though, but I will link some other alternatives because there's quite a lot of lilac blazers on the high street at the moment and I adore this bright pink colour. Not sure if I would pull it off, but I will leave some bright pink blazers linked as well. And again, I've got an alternative from my wardrobe. I don't have long length wide leg trousers, so I've swapped them out got a hair again somewhere <laughs> for a pair of Karen Millen super duper comfy rib knit cropped trousers but I still think this does a pretty damn good job of recreating the outfit and we've just got the inspiration there of the all black kind of loose silhouette worn with a bright blazer again I've popped on some square toe mules another great Bottega dupe from misguided let me know if you actually want a Bottega dupes haul I was thinking of um, doing a video on them so let me know. I'm gonna find it hard to pick a favourite so you're gonna have to let me know which of the five is your favourite as well for this video in the comments below. But moving on to the last look. This is again a really simple way to look chic but you could swap out the heels for trainers, for flat sandals, literally if you don't have long to get ready in the morning but you want to look put together. Grab your bodysuit, pair it with a denim midi skirt chuck on your favourite pair of shoes. But again, I've worn my square toe Bottega mules and then I do not actually have a blue midi denim skirt at the moment in my wardrobe. So I recreated the look with a slightly smaller black one from H&M. So we still get the same vibe. And again, I have on the nude bodysuit and I'm aware that bing, 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 my hands are going crazy. I think maybe I need to sit on my hands when I'm filming. And the black glasses again. I feel with this look, it's made me want a longer length denim skirt. So also recreating outfits might give you a couple of ideas about what items are missing in your wardrobe. Um, and it's just one of my favorite things to do to get inspiration. So if you want a video on how I find inspiration for my outfits, and also that would be one I can do. And if you've got any celebrities that you want me to do a five ways to wear with and recreate their looks, let me know too. I'm all about putting out videos that you guys want to see. So I appreciate every type of feedback that you guys give. There we have my Rosie Huntington Whiteley Zara bodysuit styling outfit. I, I just adore her style. I love minimal chic looks as you guys probably know and I cannot recommend this Zara bodysuit enough. It does have some double lining in it as well so if you're kind of wondering what bra to wear with it because we've got this halter neck shape you don't need to if you don't want to but if you did want to I would suggest maybe trying to find a seamless strapless bra. It has a thong bottom so you don't get any VPLs. We know how I feel about a VPL ruining an outfit. But yeah, my favorite bodysuit to date. 
I would recommend you go and get yourself one because it's under £10 as well, so really affordable. And I hope that's given you some inspiration of ways to wear the Zara bodysuit or any bodysuit this summer. I've really loved filming this, so if there's any more celebrities or anybody you would like me to recreate five looks of theirs, do let me know. I will leave my five ways to wear series on the screen somewhere for you to click on if you want to see more videos from myself and I will see you guys next week for another fashion video so thanks for watching and I will see you guys very soon